All right, what's up, Mountain Tough? We're here to kind of break down our top five rolling techniques um, on the foam roller, okay? So foam rolling is one of those things um, that is phenomenal to aid in your recovery process. It's technically a self-myofascial release technique. Um, and what Jimmy and I are here to do is show you if you have five minutes in the morning, the morning or post-workout, this is the best use of your time, okay? So what we like to start with is we always like to roll our back out first. So Jimmy's gonna kind of show you, you wanna keep your core tight, don't let the neck drop back like this. We actually want to keep the chin choked the whole time. And we're going to do a couple rolls up and down the spine a little bit to kind of wake everything up. And then this is one of my personal favorites. Um, it's going to be a thoracic extension. So what we're going to do is you're going to find kind of that jammed up uh, section of the back, your thoracic spine. Usually a lot of us feel a little tightness right underneath our shoulder blades. Jimmy's going to rest his hips on the floor, hands behind the head, elbows together and he's slowly gonna let his shoulders drop back. He's gonna take a big belly breath, and as he exhales, he's gonna drop back three to five seconds and then come up, shift up a little bit. You can go up or down an inch or two and kind of work your way down or up the spine depending on what's feeling good. So once again, the hips are rested, the elbows are together. He's not letting his head and neck drop back. He's keeping that chin choked, okay? So that mobility comes from the back, not the neck, okay? So that's our thoracic extension technique. Then Jimmy is gonna roll up on to our glutes. This one is a fave, okay? So what we like to do is we like to cross. So if you're gonna cross your left leg, we are then going to shift to the left, okay? So what this does is our glute max is a really thick muscle, all right? So by crossing your leg, you kind of open up and stretch that glute max out so you can hit that piriformis. The piriformis is a muscle that you will feel immediately when you hit it, okay? And you found it. Yep, it's usually a hot spot right in the glute, okay? And you're just gonna sit and hold, relax, consciously relax and wait for that puppy to just release a little bit. The piriformis is an external rotator of the hip, gets really tight if you sit a lot, uh, you know, whether it's at a desk or you're watching TV. So this is a game changer to kind of release any tension in the back and hips. So, um, and what you should do here when you foam roll is you're looking for those hot spots. So you can kind of roll maybe about an inch per second. Once you find that area that feels tender, you want to sit, hold, and relax and wait for that, that kind of inhibition to hit, okay? You're gonna wanna do this at least 30 seconds on each side, all right? Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a muscle called the TFL, tensor fascia lata. So this muscle is kind of a muscle a lot of people have never heard of. This muscle, so notice Jimmy's body position, he's almost face down, okay? So a lot of people want to hit and they wanna roll that medial glute, but the TFL is actually, if you find your hip bone, it's right behind that hip bone. So you are almost gonna be face down. So find that hip bone and hit that, that tensor fascia TFL. And what is really imperative about this muscle for it to be rolled is that it attaches to the IT band. So if you've been rolling your IT band like crazy and not feeling any relief, try hitting this TFL because a lot of times that TFL is the culprit, okay? It's tight, so it's causing tightness down that IT band. So once again, just like the piriformis, we are going to try to really find that hot spot right behind that hip bone, okay? So this one's really important. It's an internal rotator of the hip. So it's funny, they're right next to each other, but they perform different functions. So that TFL is super important. All right, so we've got two more for you guys. We're gonna go into um, a rolling R lat. So kind of that intersection between the posterior delt and your lat, it's kind of all the muscles in the back of the shoulder. This one tends to be very spicy, okay? So notice Jimmy's arm is extended. Okay, he's kind of controlling the pressure through his lower body, and he's just kind of hitting right underneath that armpit, okay? So if you struggle with shoulder tightness um, in, your, um, in the back of the shoulder, or you tend to not be able to kind of get those arms overhead, you sit at a desk all day, watch TV, and you have rounded posture, this one is going to be super, super important for you to hit. 
So as a reminder, we're just kind of finding those hot spots, rolling for about 30 seconds at a time on each side. Feel free to do two or three rounds if, it's, if you're really feeling that release, okay? The whole purpose of that foam rolling is to inhibit those overactive muscles, okay? Last one we're gonna do is just a really good uh, pec stretch. So we're gonna lay long ways. Jimmy's gonna lay long ways on the foam roller, all right? And once again, that rounded shoulder posture is much more common um, in the average American um, than we think. So that roll, rounded shoulder posture, okay, we wanna pull those shoulders back by releasing those pecs. So lying long ways, these should feel really good. Make sure you're relaxing. We've got our anterior del, our pec minor, and our pec major that we're just looking to stretch. So we're opening up, okay? This is a great supplementation in addition to just a typical doorway stretch. And the idea is to kind of open up that posture, take a few big deep breaths, okay? And really let that chest open up, okay? His head is supported by the foam roller, which is gonna help not cause any stress by letting that chin drop back. And yeah, those are our top five uses for the foam roller. Let us know if you guys have any questions. It's an amazing tool to release those adhesions that form in the fascia of our muscles. And by adhesions, you more, let, more than likely know them as muscle knots, all right? So we're really working out those adhesions and getting those muscles to contract and stretch properly. All right, so let us know if you have any questions, Mountain Tough, and we uh, look forward to hearing how great you feel after foam rolling. Have a good one.